Okay, let's go ahead and start with this one. This is called Rockin' All Over the World by John Fogarty. This is after Creedence broke up. Uh, it was on a single album he has. Pretty good album. So this one has Rockin' All Over the World. This is for Steve Seipel. So let's uh, let's go ahead and see what uh, what this one goes with. So it's, it's the chords are pretty simple. It's D, a G, an A, and that's it. <laughs> Typical Fogarty song. About three or four chords and let's do it. Okay. Now, if you um, look on the third page of the sheet, uh, you'll find that the D chord, okay, we're going to play the regular D, 0, 2, 3, 2. But we're going to use our little finger and go on that fourth fret of the G uh, after, after the first two. So it's D, regular, and then we're going to add that third finger on the fourth on the G. So it's like this. Regular D, and then add the fourth uh, on the on the G. So there's my little finger on the fourth fret of the of the G. So that's all it is. Is and so this every pattern repeats. Okay, so. Now for the G, um, I'm playing it this way. I'm, I'm just using two fingers on a G. I'm using my second finger on the sixth string, third fret, and I'm also using that same finger to block the fifth string. So it sounds like this. See, I'm blocking that fifth. And then that's open, 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 open. And then my ring finger is gonna play the um, third fret of the high E. So it's third fret low E, then a block on the five, and then four is open, three is open, two is open, and then the ring finger catches the third fret of the high E. Okay, now with my first finger, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the G twice like that, and then I'm gonna play the second fret of the D with my first finger. So it's gonna be. So there's my first finger on the uh, D second fret. So if I'm playing that, it's it's three block, it's either open, then three, or it's three block, two, open, open, three. So. Now for the A, um, you can you can do this. Just bar. You don't have to. Um, it's not a hard bar. Take your first finger and cover the D and G strings at the second fret. Just those two. Okay. Now to make an A chord, you can play the open A, open A string, and then the, you're going to play the D and the G strings at the second fret. So that's almost like a power chord A. Okay, so that's enough for an A chord there. Just those three strings. You're playing A, D, and G, and you're borrowing, you're holding down D and G at the second fret. Okay, now with my ring finger here, I'm going to alternate or play on the fourth fret of the um, D. So it's going to be like this. So you play one, you play two times with open A and then two on your second fret on D and G, and then add your ring finger on the D at the four and play that once, and then back to the uh, regular zero two two. Okay, so again, the D, the D we're gonna play regular and then add our little finger on, on and off on the uh, fourth fret on the G. It's like the third be the third shot of that. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And then your G, you're going to play with just your second and third fingers, barring the fifth string, and you're going to you're going to go on and off on the D string at the second fret with your first finger. 
And the A is the same thing. You're just going to play three strings of A. You're going to play the low A, A open A. The G and the B are at the second. And you're going to take your ring finger and alternate at the fourth fret of the D. Okay. So that's pretty much how you play the melody of that. So let's let's go ahead and play that part of it and see what it sounds like, okay? So I think he starts off with the lead. We'll take a look at the lead later, but we'll just play the D. Well, here we up, here we up, here we go. gets into the solo part. So let's look at the solo. Okay, the solo is pretty simple. So if you look on that third page, you see the strum pattern that we just went through. That it got the D and the G and the A that we just wrote out. Okay, the solo is really simple. It's, it's for the most part, it's basically three strings, a triad, or three strings played at the same time. So for the first part, for that D part, you're going to hold down the uh, D, the G, and the B at the seventh fret with your first finger. You're going to play those all at once. Okay, so that's G, or D, G, and B at the seventh fret. Okay, and you're going to play that twice. Then for that third part, you're going to hold those down. You're going to take your second finger and put it on the eighth fret of the B. So now I've got, I've got seven, seven, seven right now, and then I have seven, seven, eight. For this, for that, for that third part. So it's going to sound like that. There's seven, 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 then seven, seven, eight, and back to seven, seven, seven. The Stones use that kind of rhythm quite a bit. So that's what I think of when I play this. Okay. Now for the for the G chord. We're going to do the same thing at the 12th fret. So it's you got 12 on, on a D, G, and B. Okay, so those three. And then on the fourth one, you're going to put your, ring, your second finger on the 13th of the B. So it's going to be this. Okay, so here we go again. The D, and then you're going to put on and off of the 8th of B. 12, 13 on and off, back to the 12, back to the uh, seventh again. Okay, so so far we got this. This is twice. 12, back to the tw back to the seventh. Now the the little the next little part of that is you're going to take the ninth fret of the G, you're going to bring it, you're going to bend it, and make it real slow. And then you're going to play the seventh of the B. So you're bending ninth of G and the seventh of the B. And then you're going to finish out on the G. You're going to go nine seven, and then nine seven on the D. So here it is, real slow. So bend it, bend G at nine, up to B at seven, then G nine seven. D7, D, D9, D7. Okay. And the last little part of that, you're going to go to the seventh of the G, play that twice. You're going to go to the D, 9, 7, and then just repeat that. Seven twice on the G, 9, 7 on the D, 9, 7, 7 on the, on the G, and then nine on the D, and back and finish on the on the seventh, on the uh, G. So that last little part is seven seven 
on the D, on the G, 9, 7 on the D, 7, 7 on the G, 9, 7 on the D, 7, 7 on the G, 9 on the D, back to the 7th on the G. Okay, one more time on that part. Okay, so here's that part with the bend in there. One more time, real slow. You bend that bend, that B real, that, that G on the nine, bend it real slow and keep it kind of there for a second. Okay, one more. Okay, so here's that whole lead real slow. So here's a little bit quicker. So that's, that's the whole lead right there, that's it. And uh, then he goes on to the song, and he goes back to the, uh, the, rhythm, the uh, third verse, we'll play that through. So in the third verse, he's going, uh, or the second verse, or whatever it is, I'm gonna tell your mama, tell you what I'm gonna do, so he's like that D thing. Mama, what I'm gonna do, we're going out in our dancing shoes, here we go, oh, rocking all over the world. I think he goes to a cappella. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I la la like it. La la la, here we go, rocking all over the world, and he comes back in. Well, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. La la like it, la la la, here we go, rocking all over the world. Here we go, rocking all over the world. And then he finishes out. On the finish, he is. He does that little part. So he's up here on the, I'm sorry, I took five. You're gonna start on the seventh, or the uh, G string again at the ninth, bend that to the seventh of the B. Then nine, seven on the G. Then nine, seven on the D. Then you go back to seven, seven on the D, a G. Nine on the D, <coughs> back to seven. Then you're gonna do that little part again. So that part again goes. Okay, and then finish up, you do the same, start with the same way. Then you do a walk down. You're gonna take the A string, you're gonna go nine, eight, seven, and finish up with a, 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 a power D. You're gonna do five, seven, seven. So here's that ending again, real slow. One more time. Okay, so let's play the whole thing just one time through. Okay, here we go. Ah, here we up, ah, here we up, ah, here we go. Oh, Lord, just a hit in the load, here we go. Oh, rocking all over the world. Ah, giddy up, ah, giddy up, ah, get away. We're all going crazy and we're going
like it, like it, la la like it, la la like it, we go, oh, rock it all over the world. And I like it, like it, la la like it, la la like, la la like, here we go, oh, rock it all over the world. And then you use that a cappella, and I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I la la like it. La la la, here we go, oh, rocking all over the world. And then he finishes out. Well, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. La la like it, la la la, here we go, oh, rocking all over the world. Here we go, oh, rocking all over the world. John Fogarty rocking over the world. All right. Hope you like that one.